So did you catch this teaser from Logitech Korea? Someone on Reddit shared a screenshot for the MX Master 4, and honestly, the tagline is wild. Tomorrow changes everything. Bold move, Logitech. The last big change they hyped was an extra side button they called revolutionary. Don't get me wrong, I love a good mouse, but unless this one magically stops me from rage quitting or somehow solves world hunger, I think the world's still safe for another day. Now, if you've been following leaks and retailer listings, it looks like today, Tuesday, September 30th, 2025, is the expected launch. Logitech hasn't announced a specific global event time, but launches like this usually happen via press release and simultaneous retail availability, often starting in the morning of each local time zone, and some lucky folks in Europe actually got early shipments by mistake, which basically confirms the product is ready to go. Logi Options Plus, their software ecosystem, also just got a fresh update a few days ago. It it now supports the MX Master 4, which means the software is ready to help you get started right out of the box. So what's actually new with this mouse? Hands-on leaks show the shell material has been upgraded. No more that sticky rubber that got kind of annoying on the MX Master 3 and 3S. Users are also noticing visible screws on the bottom. This could make battery or switch replacements easier in the future, though some screws might still be hidden under the skates, so we'll have to see how much it really improves repairability. Then there's some genuinely cool stuff. The MX Master 4 reportedly includes haptic sense feedback, which gives physical vibrations for actions and notifications. There's also the actions ring, a customizable on-screen overlay accessed via a new thumb button, giving you quick access to app-specific shortcuts and tools. Keep in mind, these features are based on leaks, so we'll have to see the final details once it officially launches. Everything else that made previous MX Masters great is still here. The 8000 DPI dark field sensor that tracks on glass, the ultra-fast mag speed scroll wheel, quiet clicks for silent clicking, and multi-device connectivity via Logi Bolt and Bluetooth. One thing that didn't change? The polling rate, it's still around 125 hertz, so if you were hoping for ultra-smooth, pro-level responsiveness, that might be a slight disappointment. All in all, Logitech seems to be keeping the MX Master spirit alive while addressing some long-time complaints and adding a few exciting new features, but what do you think? Are these changes enough to make it worth upgrading, or is it more of the same with a fresh coat of paint? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm curious to see what everyone's thinking. Peace.